Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean. Now I know at the end of the last episode I said I was going to go over skills first, but I want to talk to some people first. And obviously, um, if you remember what happened to me the last time... Huh. Influence of the demon world. What demon world? Yeah, I, uh, I need to go heal. <laughs> top priority. Well, almost top priority. First, let's buy skills. Gotta buy more skills. As soon as you get into any town, you want to go and buy skills. This guy is explaining things we do not want to explain. We want, we do not want to advise. We want to buy. There we go. Now, buy knowledge number two. That'll be helpful. And let's see what else can we buy here. Sense number one, I think we already got. Sense level two we can get here. And more importantly, we can get combat level one. And I can afford it all good. Now, if you already have it, they won't let you spend the money again. Like, I'm pretty sure I have sense level one. Yeah, just tell us you already have it, and you move on. Now, we bought a whole bunch of new skills, so let's uh, take a look at all those. Yeah, lots of different skills now. Some of them useful, others not so much. Uh, some will be useful putting points into... Actually, none of them are. <laughs> okay, whatever. There's a few that affect stats, like this one here, HP recovery for certain items is up by a small percentage, kind of useless. Biology is quite useful. Skill level squared times 10, so say it's level 5. Uh, squaring something, if you recall, is multiplying the number by itself, so 5 times 5 is 25, times 10 is 250 HP. Now, biology is one of the most expensive skills you can use in this game. Not the most by any stretch, but one of, you know, the top tier ones. So, we aren't going to be putting any points into that for a long time. Like I said in the last episode there, we definitely want to, uh, you know, save up on skill points because there really isn't enough. Oh, the influence is actually in the Sylvan area. We've heard about that, but uh, we haven't really, you know, been able to go and do anything there. Um, as far as these go, same stuff as before, we can buy Lavender now, which still don't give me any extra details, so I'll just buy one of those just so I can see what it does in battle. Anyway, I've used up quite a bit of the money I had, and I still have to buy weapons, so before doing that, again, let's just talk to everybody. Huh, looks like an angel, somebody with wings. I'm not sure who they're talking about, actually. Well, there is one person, but it's not female, so I'm not sure who they're talking about. Though, I might have just answered my own question. Yes, I did. Okay. Anyway, never mind. That's off on a tangent that we may or may not get to. Anyway, I was talking about last time. I need to know about the characters. Hopefully, by the time, um, you know, this video goes up, I will have made up my mind. I haven't yet. Uh, but, yeah. Anyway character or the NPCs in this game are boring. I've already said it. They're really boring. Anyway, most important place in this town. In Let's Go Sleepy. And employ fast forward because it takes forever. Actually, it doesn't. There isn't even a rug. So? What do you need a rug for? I just need a bed and HP and MP restoration with, you know, some revival from death. You like the rug, yeah. So she gets a rug in the master bedroom, and we get twin beds in one room with no rug. Why is this important? This is an RPG. I don't care. I just want to get revived. Which, of course, I am. Thank you. Talk to you. Ruins on Mount Metox. Yes, we've been there. The enemies in there hurt. Badly. Anyway, let's go into this house over here. Talk to you. Uh, okay. Sure. I want a parfait. Cavities. This is a little anachronistic, isn't it? Yes, it's very much. Anyway. No big deal on that. Have I talked to you yet? Savages. Yeah, yeah, I already talked to you. Do, do, do. Let's talk to you. I hate this name. It looks like 
I'm not sure if this was like the, the fan translators that just wanted to have fun and this character said nothing interesting, or if that was like actually part of the original dialogue. Anyway, these guys will not let us in, so of course we can't do anything in the castle. Not for quite a while, actually. Oh, and that's all the line we're gonna get. Anyway, let's uh, head into here. This is the weapon shop where we were supposed to go for uh, Batum there. But damn, not really the hell you want to pronounce it. Anyway, deliver this item. Well, what is it? Seriously, that's bigger than I am. <sighs> All right, fine. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, of course we're going to do it. It's our quest. Anyway, we acquire a statue, which, as far as I know, is not an item in our inventory at any point in time. Uh, no, it is not. Actually, oops, no. If you press the uh, X button there, you can select key items. And the only key item we have is the pass. Um, item creation, we have nothing to do because we don't have the skills to do it yet. Here, we can rearrange our items in certain orders. Um, if we go by consumable items, then it'll put things at the top that we can actually use. Now, unfortunately, there is no custom thing to do. Normally, I would like to put blueberries first, then blackberries, then aqua berries. But then again, I'm a little OCD and I want to organize my inventory. Probably not a big idea or big deal for you, though it does have one very useful feature new items, places new items at the top. This will be incredibly useful later in the game for item creation, and again, I'll go into that much later when we get to it. Now that we've done this, let's uh, actually shop here, because that would be helpful. Here we can buy a saber, which will give us a little more damage. You already have that. You already have that. I can buy some branded mail for Seas, though I'm not going to bother. Uh, not for now, anyway. Let's see, uh, might as well buy that, it's cheap as balls. Round shield! Cheap enough. The Greaves. What do I have him equipped with? Actually, I think I have some, something with, I, yeah, I have something I like better on him. Boots suck. Spectacles. We can buy flare bombs, though I wouldn't recommend it. We don't need to. And, yes, for some reason... You can get a bikini, which has 12 defense, and of course, none of our characters can use it. Now, you would think this would be a female-only piece of gear. Uh, actually, as far as I recall, only one character can equip this, and it's very, very creepy that this character can equip it, because she's underage. Ugh, why? Why, game? Why would you do this to me? Anyway, let's uh, throw on some new gear. This weapon's a little better much nicer. Um, that's no better than what we had before. Our wood shield to the round shield is a little bit better. And we now finally have a helmet. For some reason, helmets are hard to come by in this game. There are very few helmets. Now, technically, the Leather Greaves have one more point of defense, but I'd much rather have the Evade, even though it may or may not do anything. Neither does one defense, so... Anyway, let's uh, go and equip some other people. Unfortunately, the kind of the way the cursor moves in this game is really, really slow. And like, I'm spamming the button pressing right now, and I see how it's kind of slow. Yeah, it uh, it's really slow, making it hard to maneuver. She can't use a shield, unfortunately. Did I get you anything else? No, I didn't. And I didn't get you anything either. So yeah, there we go. So, with that being said, now is as good a time as any to talk about stats, which, yes, I am going to talk about them. There's also some idiots I can talk to over here. Get out of my way. Go right around you, then. Over here at... The port in Portmas! <laughs> what savages? What are you talking about? They attacked your dad? Well, that sucks. Where... Who are they? Ah, pirates. Of course there's pirates. Oh? They're cowards and you're the fat sailor. Apparently that's his name. <sighs> hmm? And we even get a sound effect. And another sound effect. And more sound effects. 
Okay then, buddy. Yeah, run fast. I've already talked to you. Let's talk to you. It's a flounder, all right. What? Are you supposed to be fishing? Where's your fishing rod? Let's go talk to you. Something wrong. We're stuck. The Velcant Pirates have started to turn up in the seas around here. Uh, yeah, we have no idea who they are. Savages who live in the foreign land to the north. You haven't heard of them. Yeah, they like to put, you know, savages from a foreign land, and then we never hear anything about it ever again. Boat to Astro. Well, that's apparently the next place we're supposed to go. Oh, well, that sucks, so we can't do anything with the boat. And we have to finish the job. Uh, let's deliver it. I'm not sure what happens if you say no. I'm really not. I haven't said that in a while, if ever. Anyway, so we've kind of done what we can with that. Now let's go over the stats and we'll kind of talk about basically all we need to do now to continue the game is to go back to Batum in the town of Hot. I don't want to uh, do that quite yet because that'll start a sequence which will affect um, different characters later in the game so I don't want to do that yet so I want to go over stats now as you can see we've got HP and MP which are self-explanatory experience next which are also self-explanatory um, strength pretty self-explanatory determines your physical damage with normal attacks as well as impacting your killer moves or your special techniques. Uh, intelligence, uh, same for magic, it increases your magic damage, and I've also heard that it affects your killer techniques. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Um, I've heard more instances say strength does. Maybe it's a combination of both, I'm not entirely sure. But for the most part, your fighters are going to get more strength by upgrading their weapons, and your mages are not going to get any strength because they their weapons all suck. Oddly enough, the mages' rods, which is the weapon they use in this game, or at least some of them, uh, don't actually increase their intelligence at all, which is kind of lame. You can't really boost their their damage output with spells. That, in combination with the bad AI when it comes to casting spells, specifically casting spells that heal the enemy, spellcasters in this game are not particularly effective. So that pretty much makes a couple of choices for me when it comes to which characters I want to recruit. There are two, I think, no, there is one optional spellcaster, and I don't really care to recruit him, though that bypasses a couple of story points, you know, who knows? Anyway, I said I asked you guys to talk, you know, to leave comments, so make sure you do that, and hopefully we'll figure it out. Agility is kind of odd in this game. Agility in most games determines your speed. In this game, it determines your accuracy and your evade. And the way your accuracy works in this game, it's your chance to hit. But the enemies block so often that it also has an effect on that. Your accuracy needs to be higher, and hence your agility needs to be higher, so that you won't be blocked as often. So it's not like you're going to straight out miss, you get blocked instead. So it's the same basic idea, but anyway. The next stat is con, or what I would have thought was concentration, I've also seen it writ written as constitution, determines part of it adds to your total defense, the other part of it determines your HP gain at level up, which I found kind of odd, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Guts, as we saw in the battle in the last episode that I started talking about and then you know, proceeded to stop talking about, um, affects actually a lot of things. Guts is probably one of the more useful stats in the entire game. Um, your ability with Guts basically comes down to you can gain additional strength in battle or additional defense in battle, and it's completely random. You know, on your attack, when you're attacked by the enemy, stuff like that. There's also a chance if you're being dealt a killing blow, something that will reduce your HP to zero, Guts can sometimes kick in and leave you with one HP. Now, this can be abusive, but even if you max it out, you're still, if you get hit a lot 
and you're gonna die. It's not gonna affect yourself. It's not gonna affect you every single time, but it will affect, you know, save your life a few times throughout the game. And it's definitely useful to have. Um, on top of that, yeah, that's the only thing with that one. Next one, stamina. So stamina decreases. It's a, it's a stat you start off with, and in this case, he has 16. So he starts off with 16 stamina in battle. As you take actions, your stamina decreases. If you sit still, your stamina will slowly rise back up. At the end of battle, the stamina that you have left over will give you a boost to HP and MP after the battle is over. Now, depending on how much you have, you'll get more HP and more MP. So if you deplete it all the way, then you're hooped, you get nothing after battle. If you use half of it, you'll gain a smaller amount than if you barely moved at all. So in some battles, it will make sense, specifically if there's one character who's really low on MP, you may want to just kind of control them and sit in place while the others take out the enemies and maybe throw items if you need to, to heal. Um, so yeah, that's actually a kind of important stat, which is kind of odd that it, uh, you know, that stamina would do that, but I guess it kind of makes sense too. Now your attack stat is a combination of your weapon damage, in this case 50, and his strength stat, which is 42, so 92. Defense, as I said, was a mixture of concentration, or whatever else that was, um, constitution, and your armor, and helmets and all that stuff. Accuracy is the same value as your agility, which I've already talked about. Evade is pretty self-explanatory, it's your evade percentage. Now, favorite food, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this, if your character eats his favorite food, I think they get either a greater amount of HP or MP restoration, or they get basically an elixir's effect and get full HP and MP from eating it. Of course, like I said, food can only be used outside of battle, so is what it is. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to go through. I did want to make sure to talk about some of these other things. Uh, that's another thing to note is only Radix and I believe Millie and Dorn at the start of the game uh, actually have their favorite foods known. Anyone else will not have it until they actually eat said food. Um, obviously hers was not the steak that I fed her or the uh, sweet potion or soup or whatever it was. Uh, that I gave her in the uh, last episode there. But, that being said, uh, pretty much done all I wanted to do with this episode. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do as far as characters are before I can really move on. So, next time I will meet you guys back in the town of Hot. Uh, I will fight a few battles along the way. I'm not gonna stop and do any substantial amount of grinding. I might fight an extra, you know, three or four battles or something like that, but... Anyway, that's all for this episode, and I'll see you guys next time.